Okay, now for the installation of the front uh, brake set. I have uh, detached the uh, tubing from the lever so that I could give a good approximation of how long I need to cut um, the tubing. So what I've done is I've just provisionally attached the front caliper to the fork and run it up into this little bracket that actually comes with the fork and so that's where the tubing is going to run and then I just got to allow for a little extra line in case I do want to run my uh, stem a little higher I make sure I leave enough room in here um, to be able to do that in the future so uh, the front fork is obviously a lot easier in running the tubing because the handlebars and the fork will move together so I've wrapped a little piece of a paper clip around the tubing again approximately where I'm going to cut it. Okay, now that I know that I want to cut my hose here after fitting it on the bike, I am going to uh, cut the hose with my razor blade here and then reattach my lever. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. Still have my little connecting pin and my olive there. This is my cut mark right here. We're just going to take that, we're going to cut it nice. There we go, nice and clean. And that looks perfect. Okay, now before we attach our lever to our hose here, we have got to put our boot down here, and we have to put our nut down the hose next. And we have our new olive. I should slide right over top of there. And it don't want to go on too easy. There we go. And then um, we're going to put our connecting pin in here. So what we need to do is um, put our little um, hose grabbing device that's going to go in our vise here. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to clean the, clean the hose off with some alcohol really well. And then I'm going to clean off these little hose grabbers with a little alcohol and then we're going to slide our connecting pin up there and we're going to put this in my vise Keep that up a little bit Now we're going to slide that down so it's just about there. I'm going to crank my vise nice and tight. Then we're going to take our connecting pin and we're going to put that in the top there so you can see what we're doing here. So you get a good picture of that. So we're putting our connecting pin into the hose right there. So just like we did with the rear brakes, so we're going to do this in the front brakes. So we're just going to put this in the top. Just a little bit here. Put that in the top there. Get it started. That's it, it's all the way in. See how that looks. And there we go. That is in there perfectly all the way. Got our olive on there. We got our nut on there. We got our boot on there. Ready to reattach to our exterior lever. Okay, now we have our freshly cut hose with our connecting insert in there. We got our olive. A new olive on the hose and our 8mm nut on the hose. Now we're just going to reinsert the hose into the lever. We're going to push the olive in there. We're going to push our 8mm nut in there. And we're going to snug that down. And that goes down to 5 to 7 newton meters. I'm going to wait to final tighten that uh, until I get it positioned on the bike so I don't get any twists in the hose. Now what we need to do is um, put new fluid in the system and bleed it. 
Okay, the first thing we're going to do in preparing the caliper for the bleed is to um, take out the brake pads and put in a bleed block. But first what I'm going to do is make sure my hands are nice and clean. Clean them off with um, a little bit of alcohol. Any um, mineral oil that kind of dripped over when I was cutting the tubing. Make sure none of that's around because I don't want to get any mineral oil on the pad. So I'm just going to pull this little clip. Just like we did on the um, on the rear brakes, we're gonna back up this little slotted screw here. Pull that out all the way. Set that aside. We're gonna pop out our little orange little fake rotor. We are going to Turn this over, we still got our brake pads in there, so we're going to just push them out from this side, push on them, and then we're going to squeeze them from the back, and then pull those out. We're just going to put those safely somewhere where they're going to stay nice and clean. Okay, so now we have our brake caliper here. So now we're going to install our bleed block. We're going to put this in place. We're going to put the bleed block in from underneath. Okay, we're going to install our little pin in here just so that I don't lose it. Now we have our caliper ready um, for doing the bleed. The other thing I'm going to do to prepare is to take off our little boot here. We're just going to peel that right off. We're going to set that aside. So now we have our caliper ready for doing our Blake bleed. Uh, Blake break bleed. The only other thing we're going to need is a seven millimeter wrench here to be able to loosen this. So first of all we're going to go back up to the lever and we're going to install our uh, bleed funnel onto the caliper before we come back in down here and start to inject our mineral oil in from the, the bleed nipple here up to the bleed funnel. Okay now we're back up the lever and we're going to install our our bleed funnel from our Shimano bleed kit. We're going to undo this 2.5 millimeter hex which is the cap to the lever reservoir so we're just going to turn that back we're going to unscrew that and we're going to pull our cap out of there now this time the little o-ring stayed in there so we have to pull that o-ring out of there make sure you get the o-ring out and we'll put that back on the screw so I don't lose it Okay, so that is back on the screw. Now we have our, our bleed funnel here. So we have our bleed funnel, and we're going to reattach our bleed funnel back up onto the reservoir. So we're just going to take our bleed funnel. It has an O-ring on it itself. We're going to screw that. Let's back this up a little bit. This. Perfect. I'm going to screw that on there. You're going to have this set up off the bike. It's easier to film and it's a little easier to set the system up and not have any air bubbles in the tubing. Okay, so now we have this and we got the brake lever set up pretty horizontal because of the way I've got it mounted. I can't get the cut more, much more uh, horizontal than that, but uh, that's pretty. That's good enough. So what we're going to do? I'm put a little fluid in here, and then we're going to go back down to the um, caliper, and we're going to pump fluid up from the caliper. Put a little, put a little fluid in there. We're going to put pump fluid up from the caliper into the bleed funnel. Okay, now we have our caliper here, ready to bleed. Actually, I'm going to turn it around like this. And we have our syringe, which I've just filled up with a mineral oil. 
And I'm just using this finish line mineral oil, which is a little different color than the um, Shimano, which is kind of like a pinky color. And then I've made sure I filled this syringe. It doesn't have any bubbles in it and no bubbles all the way up, all the way up to the tip of the syringe here. I've actually made sure that I don't have a single bubble even all the way to the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attach the nipple right onto there without putting any bubbles in the system. So we're just going to twist that onto there like that. No bubbles. And we're going to squeeze that on there nice and tight. So now we have that attached and there's no bubbles in the system. It's just clear all the way through, through the tubing and into the nipple. So now we're going to um, loosen this nipple here. Take the little stopper out. So that will allow fluid when we push it from here, it'll allow it to go up to the um it'll allow it to go up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. And we are going to loosen this. Take a good firm. There we go. That wasn't easy. Okay, so now we're going to take this down just a little bit more. And we're going to take this and we're going to push fluid. Let's see if we can see this. We'll push fluid up from up from the syringe here. And we're pushing it up into the cup. I'll take a second look here in a second and we'll show the cup filling up. Okay, I'm going to continue to inject the fluid from the caliper and it is going to come up into the cup. You can see the bubbles come up a little bit at a time. The fluid that's in there is the Shimano pink fluid and I'm pumping up this uh, greenish fluid, I guess you call it. I don't see any more bubbles. There's a couple more. You can actually see the different. There's some more bubbles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go up to the to the reservoir here. Okay, I'm gonna continue to pump fluid in there. See me in the background there, pumping fluid. I'm not getting any bubbles anymore. Okay, good, that's it. No more bubbles. Okay, now we're back down at the caliper. And what we're going to do is we're going to Snug that up, tighten that up, all the way up. So now there's, um, this is stopped. We're going to take off our syringe here. Okay. And we are going to put our hose so that when I loosen this, fluid will use gravity to come down the hose and any little air bubbles that are trapped in here will uh, come down this hose and um, we're going to let some of that fluid that's up in the uh, reservoir cup to go into here. So as we're doing this we're going to tap the hose and we're going to tap the caliper to knock loose any kind of little air bubbles. So right now I just loosen the bleed nipple. Oh, there we go. We're going to do it like this and just loosen it just a little bit more until it starts to drip. See it start to drip there. And I'm just going to kind of get it from all angles. Trying to make sure we get any kind of little bubbles. As it drips into the uh, cup there, you want to make sure you keep taking a look at your reservoir, your little um, 
funnel up above to make sure there's lots of fluid in it so that no air gets introduced in the system from up in the bubble. So, up in the funnel, sorry. So I'm just going to shut this off again, squeeze that down, and um, I'm going to tap the tap the hose, tap the caliper, and I'm going to release it one more time here. Let a little bit of fluid drop out. And again, I'm not getting any air bubbles here, so that's good. Okay, we're going to shut it off again. Now we're going to go back up to the um, we're going to go back up to the uh, bleed funnel, and I'm going to put a rubber band on the lever so that um, we can put a little compression on the lever as we uh, release and tighten, release and tighten uh, the bleed nipple here to make sure there's no air bubbles left in the system. Okay, now with our bleed funnel still pretty full. We're up to about here. We're going to attach a rubber band onto the brake lever to provide some pressure on the brake lever as we do our final bleed. So we're just going to wrap that around here like that. Put a little pressure on the brake lever. The other thing I did was make sure that I had to reach out as maximum as possible on this brake lever by adjusting the 2 millimeter um, set screw in here that expanded the reach of the uh, lever so I could get a lot of uh, pressure on the on the uh, lever. So now I'm going to go back down to the caliper here and I am going to release and tighten, release and tighten the um, bleed nipple and watch the lever um, come in and out. So let, let it a little bit, tap a little bit, tap a little bit. The other thing I'm going to do is move this maybe 30 degrees that way. Do it again. Okay, tighten. And we're gonna take a look, good look at this again. Now I'm gonna release the pressure here. I'm gonna release the pressure on the lever. I'm gonna make it nice and tight again. Wrap the rubber band again. And I'm going to do it again. This time I'm going to tilt it 30 degrees that way. Okay, so we're going to do it again. And we're going to release. And tighten. Make sure there's no air bubbles. I'm going to release and tighten. Okay, so what we're going to do now that we've tightened up our caliper nipple again is we are going to release our rubber band off our caliper. Release the caliper slowly and we're going to look inside the bleed funnel to make sure there's no, there's no bubbles in there, nice and clear. And the, and, the, and, the, and the feel on the caliper is very firm. Feels great. Okay, good. So we are totally blood. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take our bleed funnel plug and we're going to plug our bleed funnel. And we're going to push that in there nice and tight. And now we are going to withdraw our bleed funnel nice and slowly okay and we're going to use our 
handy dandy stand that that comes with and set that back down there and put that down on the ground on the table okay so now if we're looking at closely at the top of the um, reservoir here let's zoom in there just a little bit what I want to do is show you what I want to do is top off the top of this is kind of overflowing so it's kind of dripping out before we replace our screw so now we're going to take our 2.5 millimeter hex which is on our set screw make sure we got our make sure we got our um, o-ring nice and tightly on there we're going to go we're going to put that in there nice and gently make sure there's no bubbles introduced I'm going to start and slide that in there and we're going to tighten that down now you're going to get a little overflow as you tighten this down so be ready to wipe up that excess mineral oil with a little alcohol wipe and we're just going to slag that down wipe up that excess mineral oil and that feels good that feels really nice and tight okay good so now our lever is all done I'm just going to go back down to the caliper and um, finish that off okay we're back down here at the caliper and the first thing we're going to do is to pull off the tubing here and we're going to let that excess mineral oil that's in the tubing drip into our cup let that drip into there and we're going to take our little cap that came with our system that we took off earlier we're going to pop that over there a little dust cap pop that back on there and we're going to wipe off any excess mineral oil there the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe down the whole caliper with some um, alcohol just to make sure there's no mineral oil anywhere on it before we put our brake pads um, back onto the caliper so we can get that nice and clean we don't want to get any mineral oil anywhere near our brake pads and the other thing to do is make sure your hands are nice and clean because you probably got some mineral oil on your hands while you were uh, doing this so next thing we're doing we're going to put the uh, pads back in here we're going to have to get ready to put our pads back in first of all we pull off this little retaining clip that we put on there and we're going to use our slotted screwdriver and back out that little retaining screw pull that out there a bleed block comes out and now we're going to again I'm just going to get a little extra cleaning in there make sure there's no oil in there we're using a little alcohol get that all cleaned up and I'm going to reinstall my brake pads there's my brake pads so put my little clip on there my little spring that keeps the brake pads apart and we've got that all assembled right there and we're going to squeeze this together and this goes in the bottom here so we're going to take that we're going to squeeze it together and we're going to slip that into our caliper and sometimes you got to angle it just right to get it in there we're going to slide that up see that we slide that up so it lines up with the holes we're going to take our pin back in here it goes in the side with the threads in the side take that back in there we're going to slide that in the hole take our slotted driver and we're going to screw that back in there like that you can see that okay and then we're going to take our little retaining clip and I put our retaining clip back on there so that's what it looks like with the pads all nicely put back in there I'm going to take my little orange thick rotor right here to keep the keep the pads in there and we're going to pop that back in there 
and now we're ready to install our cut hose attached to our lever and our caliper and reattach it onto the front fork of our bike bike so we can move on to our next project okay now we're going to reinstall our, our grip back onto bars and we're going to do first of all we're going to clean off bars so any mineral oil that got onto them while I was installing the brakes clean all that mineral oil off with a little alcohol then we're going to install our brake levers and again I'm going to just kind of clean off on the inside this brake lever here a little alcohol in case any mineral oil got in there while I was bleeding the brakes. We're going to install that on our bar. Just open that up a little bit. And we'll just approximate where we're going to put those for right now until I actually get on the bike get a feel for where I want the grips it's just a temporary place and now I'm going to go down and I'm going to attach the brake line to this little clamp that comes with the fox fork here so what we're going to do is we're going to just slip this in here like this slides in there like that and then we're going to use a 2.5 millimeter hex get that snug we're just going to provisionally tighten it right now because we have to put the caliper on first get that just on there just a little bit okay we're back down at the uh, posts on the fork where we're going to attach our front brake caliper Take our hose off. We're going to slide up our hose a little bit to get it nice and lined up. Right now, we're just going to provisionally tighten these four millimeter hex bolts into the post because I need to have my wheel set on and attached to be able to center this uh, caliper over the rotors. So right now, we're just going to squeeze that in there. Get that snug down, and later on we'll get it put it exactly where it needs to be. Okay, great. That's on there. Okay, great. Now we got our front brake system attached to our bike. We have the lever on the bar and the caliper attached down below with the hose nicely affixed to the fork. With just the right amount of hose so that it doesn't bind or get caught in anything.